takeover at the Winston County Courthouse is coming to fruition. Every day, crews are closer to the new annex building behind the county jail. WCBI Scott Martin has the story. Right now, it's still just a big construction zone right here at the Winston County Courthouse, but some of the projects that are underway could be done as soon as Thanksgiving. If you start from, from the annex building on, it's been going on for about five or six years. Roughly six years with a construction site in the heart of Louisville. Three projects are in the works. Repairs to the Winston County Jail, a new annex building, and work to fix a flooding problem in the front of the courthouse. We're going to have to do something to stop the water coming in the courthouse. It's seeping down through the ground and it's seeping through the brick or the concrete blocks in that basement floor. The basement houses different court records. Winston County Board of Supervisors President Luke Parks says there has been up to three inches of water in the basement. We've uh, run soil tests and we've got to try to get the court, uh, water out of the courthouse. As for the jail, you may remember last year when a piece of one side of a brick wall collapsed. That has since been repaired, but they're also adding a new roof and replaced the older antennas. The annex building is basically an extension of the courthouse. The sheriff's office will be moved in there, uh, civil defense, fire coordinator, uh, board of supervisors uh, have their meetings in there. Uh, Park says they've simply just run out of room in the courthouse. A chunk of the funding is coming from federal and state money. Without it, the projects wouldn't be possible. Without these grants, without the federal grant and the state grant, we would these do projects it. be possible? No, no. Uh, well, I mean, it would be too much of a burden on, on the taxpayers of Wilson County that built a new annex building. I mean, the uh, bidding process on the front lawn construction is expected to start soon. Reporting in Winston County, Scott Martin, WCBI News. For the new annex building, taxpayers are only paying about 12.5% of the cost, while the rest is covered by federal and state money.